the therapies that we are doing, the approach that we take, all comes from a very careful and thoughtful analysis and understanding of the neuroscience research literature that's come out over really the past two to three decades. It's been in that period of time that there's been a big surge in neuroscience research in autism, a lot of very high quality research studies using brain imaging, electrophysiology, cognitive psychological approaches. A lot of different tools have been applied to study autism, so we know a lot more. So one of the first things that we do that helps us better understand a child's neurophysiology is we take a careful medical history. So we look for signs or symptoms that there may be abnormal patterns of firing. For example, if the child is having difficulty paying attention or they're having abnormal movements and we're not sure the cause. So the child's medical history can be very important. And then we move on to diagnostic testing. From there, we would decide on a set of potentially nutritional, um, nutritional supplements, um, lifestyle modifications, medications, and other things that would help us to target and try to improve those patterns of electrical firing. So one of the, one of the great privileges that we have here is we get to see what I call moments of brilliance. Because for that child in that moment, um, for their developing brain, for their nervous system, there are breakthroughs that do, in my mind, really represent brilliance in the way that neurons and networks have come together to allow uh, this crystallization of a new ability. That's what we're working towards, and we get to see that every day.